why did I become a personal trainer? When I was 14, you know, I work experience at school. I decided I wanted to do it at the gym. I did it in David's so and that was next generation. And basically went there. I shadow PTs and I just thought, this is my dream job. I want to see and help people transform. As I always had that obsession in myself to be and do better in everything, in, in physical sports and being in sports my whole life. So I was a gymnast for eight years, from the age of four to 14, which is a very good standard. And then I decided to go on to track and field where I did pole vaulting and hurdles, which I was very good at. I did that at Kent Standard. And I just really wanted my job to be within helping people achieve and strive for more, pushing people past their limits and um, showing them they can live a better, more active, healthier lifestyle. And yeah, so I left school when I was 16 and I went to a college to view the courses they had there. I realised this was going to take a lot longer than what I wanted, so I basically looked into Premier Global International with my dad, and we got me signed up onto that. That was a three month intense course, um, which was really good. Um, I was on there with a much um, more mature crowd, which was brilliant to be around as soon as I left school because, you know, just. <laughs> You grow up a lot quicker, you're already in that environment around, you know, um, more intellectual. So yeah, I qualified, passed, and then did a lot of volunteer work within gyms, because it's hard to get a job when you didn't have no experience. I did a lot of volunteer work to start with, and then gradually built myself up. I worked in the Marriott full time, teaching classes, aquasize, and so forth. And then that was for two years. Um, and then I went, started working for Soho Gyms as a commission-based trainer, which was really good. Um, it got me to build experience, confidence, generally find my feet in who I was going to be as a trainer and what my style was going to be and how my approach was going to be towards people. And once I stopped trying to copy everybody else and seeing what I was doing wrong and start finding my own way, that's when I became a better trainer. You have to learn and be open-minded to what people say and tell you, but until you actually experience it within yourself and how you train yourself and what's right and what's wrong, and you have clients that something might work for them, but it won't work for the next person, you don't really start becoming a good personal trainer until you've had those that experience. Um, so yeah, it's all about finding your own feet. So I did that for, I think, yeah, two years as a commission-based trainer, which went really well. It was a battle because there was other trainers within the gym and getting clients was hard. Getting the clients wasn't hard, it's keeping them and finding a way of um, keeping them interested and always progressing with you. Um, because they might reach that weight loss goal that they had, but then there, there's other goals you can that you want to achieve with them that you need to put across and keep them motivated and in tune. You can't just have any goals, you need goals along the way to their long term goal. So you gradually learn that as well. And then we had the opportunity to go freelance, which was scary because everything was happening a lot faster than I thought. So I then decided, okay, this is a good opportunity. I um, was scared. A lot of fear come across my mind, doubts, uh, but I took the opportunity, I uh, took the chance, and so far so good. Business has been consistent, and I'm slowly finding my feet within running my own business, which is now Gibbs Fitness. Um, so it's called Gibbs Fitness, and uh, I've got a great client base. Um, I made some good friends from my clients, and I'm slowly becoming better and better at what I do and who I am. You're always learning about something, which is what I like, is if you're not learning about nutrition or updating, nutrition's endless anyway, so you're constantly updating your knowledge on nutrition. You're constantly finding new methods and new 
programs and to reply to your clients um, to get different results and it's just a really interesting job so yeah that's how I got into my journey it's where I'm at now and I'm looking forward to my future with me being a trainer who knows uh, but yeah I want a lot more things to come from it so building better and bigger inspiring and helping people I just think if you give something you're always going to get something back in terms of how it makes you feel um, and the purpose it gives you I mean changing somebody else's life is always going to affect yours because you're having such a positive effect on someone else um, yeah it's always going to inspire you and keep you motivated and yeah which is a good way of progressing throughout your own life so that's how I become a trainer that's currently where and how I've got to where I am um, yeah so any advice you might want on becoming a trainer or um, mentoring or anything um, please message me I'm happy to help my emails in the link below um, and feel free to follow my social medias which is also in the link below yeah please subscribe um, stay tuned